Hey, Miss Carolyn. And whoever else might be in there. <laughs> Let's see. If I can get the TV to work. <laughs> mm. What are y'all doing this morning? Well, I guess it's afternoon now, ain't it? Steven did a video. In fact, I think he did too. <laughs> I think he did his coffee with Steven this morning. And he did another one. Hey, Ed Higgs, how you doing? <laughs> hey, John Ray, Pamela, and Nana's Crazy Life. I sound like that should be my name. Grandma's Crazy Life. Hey, Miss Glenda. All right, I had to turn the light out. Oh, I done got hung up on my chair here. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing this fine Wednesday afternoon? Hey, Miss Kathy. Hey, Mary. Hey, Miss Carolyn. Hey, Susie. And anybody else that I forgot, Miss Flip Flop. CB6666, <laughs> Susie, Miss Benita. Hey, y'all. Y'all so sweet. Hey, Miss Judy. Hey, Miss Glenda. Yes, it is pretty and warm here. I am so glad. Miss Sandra, Rosemarie, Miss Betsy. Ed Hicks said, howdy, Hodge. <laughs> He's over yonder. He not right here. <laughs> I think I said hello and good morning. So it's at 600 people today. <laughs> hey, you probably did, John. That Stephen, he's been on a roll now. He sure has. Hey, we got some more Christmas cards. I'm not going to read them, but I'm going to show y'all the Christmas cards. Look, this one's got a doggy on it. This is from Miss Lori. It looks like <laughs> white cot, but I probably didn't say that right. W-H-A-T-C-O-T-T. -T -T. But thank you, Miss Lori. We love our card. We sure do. And then we got another one. Hey, Becca. Christmas blessings. Look how pretty. And I'll show y'all the inside, but I'm not going to read it. And it is from Fit Fitzpatrick. Okay, from Ohio. All right, thank you for the Christmas blessings. And this one here, so, for God so loved the world, look, look how pretty. This is from Just Rabbit to our family. Thank you so much. And did give Bentley the postcard, so. Alrighty. Here's a little one that is so cute. Look. It's got reindeer flying. And it's pretty on the inside. And this is from Miss Thelma. Thank you, Miss Thelma. And here's another one. Real pretty. Look. They're all real pretty. <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. Yes. 
and this is from Miss Ella, E L L A. Oh, AKA Dawn Hope is what it looks like. So, this is to all of us. All right, that's our Christmas card that we got. And y'all, let's see who's in here. Monique. Hey, Monique. Danny Monique says, hey. Miss Sandra. Miss Glenda. <laughs> Monique, I hope you're getting much, 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 much better. Miss Rhonda. Miss Vanita. Lindsay. Miss Kathy. <laughs> Rosemarie. Aww. Y'all are all so sweet. Holy, Stephen brought this bag over here the other day. And he says it's for me and this man. And we're going to look at it, but I don't have a clue who it's from. And Stephen didn't tell me. So, if you sent these, then you would know that you sent them. Proud wife of a freaking awesome drummer. I think that's what that says. <laughs> Look how pretty. Thank you so much for my shirt. All right, let's see what this one says. This one says, this is what an awesome drummer looks like. And the arrow's pointing up to the head. Look at him. Aww. Thank y'all, whoever sent those. We really do appreciate it. We sure do. So, if you sent them and you're on here, you can just say you sent them if you want to. If not, you don't have to. I'll find out from Stephen later because I know he got one too. All right. And I got this package today. And I'll cover up the address. This is from Miss Julie, Jesus Girl. So let me see what this is. It says to Tammy. So, that means it's mine. Okay. Grandma Helen, love you, Julie. This is for Grandma Helen. Miss Tammy and Mr. Danny, love you, Julie. So, this is ours. And let's see. Aww. Thank you, Julie. That's so sweet. All right, well, let me put Grandma's up here. Well, she's got another card up there. Okay. Now, let's see what we got right here from Miss Julie. Oh. Thinking of you at Christmas. Look how pretty. Aww. Aww. And of how much happier life is because you're in it. Enjoy your holiday. I love you. Love Julie. A.K.A. Jesus Girl. And look. Stephen's not the only one that got a gift card. <laughs> You, Julie. We appreciate that very much. It's mine and your babes. <laughs> All right. And y'all, we have a whole box of Christmas presents. Hey, Holly. Holly Elizabeth Prince. Aww. Aww. 
Danita, Julie, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss nobody, but I can't look at that thing and, and look at my things I'm opening because brain just don't do all that. Hey, Betsy, thank you. She loves my blouse. Yeah, this is a white one that I haven't worn very much. I usually wear it to church sometimes, but I um, if I wear it very much, it wouldn't be white long, so. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, John Ray, you think I can take Danny out to eat now? Okay. He means he won't have to eat a Pop-Tart. Y'all need to get Danny to comment and tell y'all what he had for lunch today. I don't see how Danny and Stephen does it either, John. Trust me. I sure don't. Hey, everybody out there, thank y'all so much for tuning in. And y'all, these, this box of gifts, I have not looked at all of them. Um, but this box of gifts, like this one here, I did look at it. That is so pretty. It says, to Danny from the Florida Sisters. Y'all, these ladies are they're awesome people. They really are. And it has their names on them, but I know there's some things you're supposed to say and some things I'm not supposed to say, so we just gonna call them the Florida Sisters. And, um, do you want me to open yours and show what it is, or do you want to open it? You He's laying on the couch. He's still a little under the weather. So he told me to open it, so I'm going to open his. I don't know if the Florida sisters are watching, but we're feeding to open their Christmas present. Yes, we are. That is so pretty. That's got a little tree hanging on it. Let's see what Mystery Man's got here. Hey, I tell you what, that Tony Lee, he sent Stephen all kinds of stuff today. I mean, I saw Steve, some of Stephen's video where he was riding around opening presents. And I was thinking the whole time, now I want to do a video so I can open my presents. Let's see. I had me a knife up here a while ago. Don't know what I done with it. I probably put it up before I wouldn't kill myself. Okay, I'm going to get it. I did put it up. <laughs> okay. Cut away from me. Rhonda, Kathy, Betty, I just want to make sure my y'all talking to each other that I'm not praying you keep feeling better. Yes. I still got my list of prayers. We still praying. Danny prayed. Yes. Thank you, Miss Mary. Oh, wow. I got a feeling I know what this is, and I haven't even opened it. Look at this box, y'all. I could be wrong, so I'm not going to tell you what I think it is. I'm just going to open it and see what it is. I was right. <laughs> He got him some, oh, wow. Y'all, y'all are not going to believe this. He's asleep. Look at this drumstick. Am I holding it right so y'all can read it? It says Tammy and Danny and look. 
it has our high school sweetheart ball pictures on it. Y'all, that is amazing. I mean, I know Stephen says amazing a lot. I don't even know if I'm even holding it right so y'all can see it. But look, y'all. Hold on. Tammy, my name's over my picture. And Danny's name's over his picture. Y'all, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I mean, and it's... it's it's dug down in it. It's not just a picture on it. You can feel it where it's dug in it. Y'all, thank y'all so much. This is a very, very special gift. I mean a very special gift. Not that any of the rest of them is not as special. It's just, wow. Thank y'all so much, Florida sisters. He is going to love it. He is snoring. He's asleep. But he is going to love it. That is something else. Mmm. That almost made me want to cry. That was beautiful, y'all. Even if it did have my picture on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's in gray. That's right, John Ray. That's how you say it. It was a beautiful box, too. Yes, it was. All right, let's see what this is. All this is from the Florida Sisters. This says, To Christina from the Florida sisters. Oh, that's my daughter, so she's got something. So we're gonna put her right there. They're in the mountains. They are going to Dollywood. Oh, This one says to Christina and Reed from the Florida sisters. Ah, oh, so this is theirs too. So they're going to have Christmas presents when they get back. All right. Uh-oh. This says to Tammy from the Florida Sisters. That means I can open this one. It's mine. Look. And they have little... I'm getting hung up on my box over here. Had y'all noticed? All of their little tags have little snowflakes or Christmas trees or something on them. Okay, let's see what this is. And this is some thick paper, too. This ain't that old flimsy paper that just... You stick your finger through. Yeah, Leanne. Stephen had two videos early. Sorry, y'all. That's some pretty good tape, too. The wire cage may be adjusted because it is wire. It can be shaped or reshaped to round. Please display in a protective area because the wire cage will rust if it's, if it's exposed to the direct weather elements. Please bring your hanging shell inside for the winter to keep nice for the years to come. Thank you. Oh, 
they knew I needed directions. And see, here's my directions. Y'all, this is beautiful. Mm. I'm going to open it up and I'll see it. to stand up. Let's see. Oh, look. Look at all the shells. Can y'all see it? Look how pretty. Hmm. I'll have to find somewhere to hang that. That is really beautiful. Thank you, Florida Sisters. There's one of Danny's little blue things that went on his drumstick. I'll put it over there. Y'all, that is so nice. Yeah, heaven bound. It's, it's PJ Hay, heaven bound, Leanne, Monique. I'm glad you're slowly getting better. Miss Glenda, yeah, it is gorgeous. I, Florida Sisters, if you in there... And you see this, it's, it's just awesome. Thank you so much. I mean, that's just beautiful. And, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, Kimberly, it is almost as long as I am, ain't it? <laughs> oh, but it is so beautiful. Okay, let's see what else is in here. This says to read. All right. And just when he thought he wasn't getting nothing for Christmas. And look at his little thing on it. It's a little bell. And, and the one where Christine and Reed together had a snowflake on it. All right. Let's see what this right here is. To Tammy and Danny from the Florida Sisters. Ah, Okay. He said I could open them, so. Man, they even know how to put a bow on now. I'm telling you. Some puppy doggies. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, yo. Super soft plush throw. Y'all, it is super soft. Oh, it feels good. Look. It's got the Christmas truck on it and Christmas tree. But you know what? It's going to get used. Mm -hmm. I know it ain't Christmas now, but you know what? It don't matter to me. 
<laughs> oh, this feels so good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and I'm going to tell Mystery Man, I'll cut this loose in a minute, but I'm going to tell Mystery Man, but the only way that he can use it is if he gets under it with me, because it's big enough for both of us. Oh, yeah, PJ, thank you for telling them. Y'all don't forget to click like and the bell. And I need some subscribers. Please, I need some subscribers. Thank you, PJ. Yeehaw. Hey, yeehaw. How you doing? <laughs> Let me cut this just so we can see. Oh. Let's see here. like to go the way the material is because I'd be cut a hole in it. Hey y'all, got Mystery Man some pants for Christmas? I mean, they were nice. I didn't go to Goodwill or the yard sale or Salvation Army. Went to Belts and Walmart and got him some nice polo breeches. Well, I had them wrapped and had them under the tree. And I knew that he had already lost down a couple of more pant sizes, so I knew they wasn't going to fit him. But I left them under the tree, and I opened them for him. And then I went back out there. I had bought 38s, and he's in a 36. Now we can say, oh, there's some more here. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to get to see it. It feels so good. I wish y'all could feel of it. Uh, let's see. Yes, he's working. Happening now. Did you have the snowstorm like the U.S.? Japan and London, didn't you? I don't know who y'all talking about working, but it ain't this bunch. Hey, that is a good thing, isn't it? Okay, I'm getting there, y'all. Don't you cut that blanket. Okay. Here's the blanket, y'all. Look how pretty. And it's, it's at least five foot long. Because <laughs> it'll cover me up. This is pretty, though. Thank you. We will enjoy it. And we will definitely use it. We didn't get no snow here, neither. But, we did get some cold weather. You like the little red trucks? Ha, ha, I do too, ha. Huh? They so pretty and they soft. Okay, let's see, here's something else. Two Tammy from the Florida Sisters. Oh, and this one has a little bear on it. See? Okay, more directions. I like directions. Bag bomb. Ooh, it says it's a moisturizer. Lord, is it a wrinkle reducer? Y'all. 
Y'all might not can tell it. But when I look in the mirror, I can tell where all that weight come from. Okay. We have used bag balm our whole lives. It is used on cows as a softener for their T-E-A-T-S, but it also is a pulling salve for open infections. It helps with minor burns as well as helping cuts to heal up quicker. Even though this says for hand softening, it still has exactly the same ingredients as what the can that says for cows udders has in it. I think they put different uses on the can so people will buy it because some people have a problem with using cow udder save. Not us, though, because this stuff works. Though you might want to try it, especially when you get scratched or cut or burned. You may remember, too. <laughs> hey, I will definitely try it. Sure will. I ain't scared of cow stuff. <laughs> hey. I might think I'm kidding. It's got a cow's picture on it. Look. Look. See the cow? Hey. I'm fixing to get in it. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Man, it even smells good. It's kind of stuck to the lid, though. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And the hole there, it's in here. It's in the lid. It's all here. Hey, we gonna try this. Uh-oh, turn it the way that it was so that'll go down in the hole. Hey, y'all. Don't think I'm not going to use it. Let's see. I've used that little tube of udder cream before that they use on cows, and it works good. Y'all, it, it smells good, too. It feels good on your skin, too. Ooh, maybe it'll help this up here. I'll get them rubbed down with it after a while. Oh, love and life. I would use it to best medicine was back in the day. Hey, it's, I like that. It's like a medicated Vaseline after a hot shower. You put it on and your skin will never feel softer. Hey, I appreciate this very much. I need all the moisturize and help I can get. <laughs> Tea sleeper. My mom used something that put hair on my daddy's head. Hey, if y'all got some of that out there, I need it too. But I need it for my head, not, <laughs> not nobody else's. Thank you, Judith. I appreciate that. No, it doesn't smell like icy hot heaven bound. It smell I mean, it smells good. It has a like a calm sweet smell to it. It sure feels good on my hands. I know that. Thank you. I can't wait to get in there and try some more of that. All right, and here's something else. For reading Christina, for Huck, 
<laughs> for Bodie, aww. For Eric, oh. For Phoebe, for Katie, for Danny and Tammy. Aw, y'all. That is so sweet. I will see that they get it. I sure will. All right, let's see what this says. There's my letter, my instructions for that. Okay, I'm gonna move this ball. Let's open this. Trisha, Angel, Ooh, I bet they did, Trisha. It's a crying shame. I learned, uh, Angela said she's, or Angel, whichever, I'm sorry. Anyway, she says she's allergic to not Zima. Oh, look how pretty. December 25th, 2022. Aww. It has their names here, but I'm not going to say their names. We wish you a very Merry Christmas. And it's got Danny and Tammy's name on the bottom of it. I'm going to show it to you, but I'm going to put my finger over their names. Look at the pretty picture. That is beautiful. It says, created by one of the sisters. It says, Merry Christmas. The squirrel in the picture is my pet. Aww. Now, that is personal. There's the squirrel right there. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. All right. Well... Thank you, Florida sisters, so much for all the gifts for everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate it very, very much. Yeah. I would have showed it to y'all a little better, but like I say, y'all may know who they are, but we just gonna call them the Florida sisters. But they done an awesome job. I they remembered everybody in our family for Christmas. Tina Madden needing prayer. And on the couch all day. See, we sure will, Tina. I've got you down, but I've got my pad here to rewrite people who say that today. We still remembering you and Monique. I mean, there's a lot of them. We're still remembering the pets. Thank you, Leanne. A tea sleeper. Rachel. Angel.
Yeah, I'm not too crazy about being on camera either. I don't know if y'all can tell it or not, but <laughs> I'm not. I've never been that photogenic. But yeah, I know um, I heard Stephen say something in one of his earlier videos about um, saving the tabs. Yeah, we still taking up tabs. I haven't received any in a while, but you know, it takes a while to save tabs. So if you have um, canned tabs out there and you're saving them, um, if you send them, I'll be glad to give them to Miss um, Sanders and um, Shelby. Shelby is um, is very sick right now. Um, Stephen and myself, we we saw her at my daughter's church, and we got to talk to them. And Stephen got to meet her, and um, they were just so overwhelmed with the tabs and the generosity and the love out there from around the world because <laughs> they knew that tabs came from everywhere and um they're such tender loving sweet people and but um Shelby has for the past couple of months she's had a lot of trouble and um She has to use catheters and stuff, and she's had urinary tract infections, and they wipe her out, and they make her very sick. And I went up to her, and I told her, I said, Shelby, I heard you have been sick, and her eyes got real big, and, and she said yes. And um, I asked her if it would be okay with her if I prayed for her, and, and she said yes, and she had a smile on her face. But I could, I could see the hurt and the pain that she was feeling, even though she was smiling. And that broke my heart because I've seen her when she felt real good. And uh, Shelby just needs a lot of prayer right now for, for relief of pain and for the infection to clear up. And her mama takes wonderful care of her. But it doesn't really matter how good that you take care of somebody that has to have a catheter all the time. Urinary tract infections are part of it. But I know that it makes Shelby so sick and it makes her hurt. So just because she has muscular dystrophy doesn't mean she doesn't feel pain. But anyway, I prayed for her, and when I finished, she said, thank you, and she just, she was just, just so proud and so happy, and I wish you all could meet her. I mean, she, she has a Facebook page, but, um, I know she don't feel like getting on there very much. There are some pictures on there, but, um. She don't miss church. They go to church. Her mama takes her to church. Um, they all love church and love Jesus. And but but y'all remember Shelby. Thank you, John Ray. I see what you. I seen what you said. Um, I don't know about all that, but <laughs> I do thank you for that. But yeah, y'all y'all please do remember Shelby. I I tell you, um, she's a sweetheart. But if y'all know anybody out there that that has tabs and they still collect in tabs, um, ask them, you know, to please send them when they get some up because I, I know Shelby's going to have to be going back and forth and I will definitely give them to them. And um, a friend of mine found out that 500 tabs, because I didn't know, 500 tabs is worth $25 when you turn it in. So, um, that person sent me a check for $25. They said they didn't have any tabs, but they wanted that to be for tabs. And I said, yes, by all means, I'll make sure that, you know, that they get it. But, um, 
I knew, I knew they helped. I just didn't ever know how they helped. But, um, anyway, thank you, all the ones who have sent tabs, all the ones who are saving them. And, um, I know Bentley, he helps me save them a lot. He'll remind everybody. <laughs> but, um, thank y'all so much for that. And y'all, I heard Stephen... I heard Stephen telling y'all the story about the nice neighbor. That man was an exceptional man. He really was. There's no doubt in my mind that he's with Jesus now. But he did all the time help help people. Every time, you know, he got a chance or had an opportunity, he helped people. And um, it got me to thinking about a couple of men in my life that that wasn't family, but meant the world to me. And um, I see y'all's comments. Hey, Miss Carolyn, you had a neighbor like that too. Oh, that's good. It's it's hard to it's hard to replace good neighbors and good friends, I can tell you. But um there's a man I knew all my life. His name was Brother Pat Clements. And he went to um the Nazarene church up the road with me for years and years. He was a song leader. And <laughs> I know I can say this about several men that I know, but there was never a man that I came across in my life that was more grounded in the Bible and loved the Lord more and loved sharing the Lord more than Brother Pat Clements. When we was all in his Sunday school class, none of us didn't ever want to go up. <laughs> we always wanted to stay in Brother Pat's class, and he let us stay for years. I mean, we would stay there three or four years longer than what we were supposed to be in his class because we just loved him, and, I mean, he, he was just awesome. I never heard him say anything bad about anybody. and I, I mean, I never... Never seen him be out of the way. He was just a, a, a genuine, wonderful-hearted person. But um, finally they asked us, was we going to stay in that class until we were 40 or 50 years old? And we told him, yeah, if, he, if Brother Pat would let us. <laughs> but we finally had to move up. <laughs> but... Brother Pat Clements, he was an awesome man. And my daddy always thought that he had done too much wrong to be saved, even though he was saved in younger life. I don't know. He, he had a lot of pride about him. But I used to stay on my daddy all the time. Daddy, you got to be saved. Jesus loves everybody. You haven't done any more wrong than anybody else has. I mean, God forgives everything. And I'm telling you, when I started trying to talk to my daddy about the Lord, it would feel like my guts was ripping out of my stomach. I'm telling you. I would get all knotted up. But my daddy, he had medical problems. He had heart disease. He had colon cancer, but he was cured of that. But he also, he, he had a colostomy he, ha he had to have the rest of his life, but he didn't have cancer anymore. What actually took him out was his heart disease. He had a massive heart attack. But every time I got around him, I had the opportunity to witness to him, and I did. 
and man, I don't, I don't know how sick it made me, but it would make me so sick because I would get so uptight about it. But I didn't give up. I didn't give up. And when he was in the hospital, Brother Pat Clements went to see him. And when we was all walking off, Daddy called Brother Pat back to the bed. And that was when my daddy rededicated his life to the Lord because he knew and he trusted Pat Clements. And I'll never, I'll never forget that. My daddy, he wasn't fooled by many preachers and stuff. And Brother Pat was not a preacher, but he could have been. <laughs> but he was sure a man that I went to for advice. But um, there was there was one more. Brother David Canaan. And he was an evangelist. He traveled around. I know he's known worldwide. Brother David's gone on. Him and Miss Ann, his wife's gone on now to be with the Lord. I always told Brother David, I said, Brother David, I want you to do my funeral. And he would laugh. He'd say, Tammy, I'll be gone way before you. I said, we don't know that. <laughs> I, said, I said, none of us don't know when we're going. But if you are living when I leave this world, I said, you know me and you know my heart and I want you to do my funeral. And he said, well, if I'm here, I will. <laughs> but he, he knew he wasn't going to be. He, um, he developed brain cancer and, you know, the Lord took him on to be with him. But if y'all ever heard and like I say, he went around the world, so he was known worldwide. But his name was Reverend David Canaan, and his wife was Miss Ann. And I'm telling you, what a man of God, what a preacher. Preached the word right down the line. And I, I respect him. And I always remember him and Miss Ann. Well... I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just wanted to share that with y'all. <laughs> hey, Tina. Oh, John, that's so sweet. I didn't even know Stephen was in here. But that was just, that was just two men that, that I just admired and respected and loved dearly because they were what they said they were. Miss Tammy, do you happen to know Billy Todd, a pastor? Yes, Miss Rhonda, I do. A fine man. I love Preacher Todd, I sure do. His daughter, Tina Hester, <laughs> was one of my daughter's cheerleading coaches for years. But yes, I, I know him. <laughs> hey all y'all gotta start a day out with a kiss on the forehead oh I see him now yes he did I was laying in the bed watching oh oh my goodness oh chosen Julie had told me how to find it and where to get it and there was three um seasons of it so I started watching it this morning and um, the thing about me is when I start doing something, I don't want to stop. I started watching, um, oh, Heartland series. Y'all, I watched every one of them. It took me a day and a half, all night, all day. Half the day the next day. I watched every one of those with only getting up to go to the bathroom and grabbing a snack to eat. When I start watching something that I really like or reading something that I really like, I hang with it. So, I know what I'm going to be doing later tonight. 
I got it on pause in there now. Because <laughs> I had to stop. But Julie was right. That is very, it's very good shows. And I'm definitely going to watch them. So thank you, Julie, if you in there. You might be working, but I'm going to let you know I am watching it. <laughs> it's a crying shame. I'm the worst with being watching. I just keep going. Kenny made me turn off the show last night so he didn't miss any of it. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, thank you. Oh, I did that with Longmire, too, Love and White Life. I did. I watched every bit of it, and then I got mad at the last one. <laughs> Just, I mean, Longmire was awesome. And Heartland's not the same anymore. Since they killed Ty off, I just, I don't know. They could have went a different route as far as I was concerned. But yeah, I loved Longmire. I didn't like the way it ended. Ah, <laughs> oh, T Slipper, that is so awesome. Yes. I know people who seen and spoke of heaven when they was passing. <laughs> George Jones and Tammy's got a TV show on Prime. We might have to check that out too. Hey, Jess Rabbit. Thank you so much for your card. I showed it to everybody. Thank you. No, it's not near as good without Ty. I mean, I just broke my heart. I mean, get you all wrapped up into the shows. And then the main star, you just kill off. Why couldn't they bring him back like they did J.R. and Victor Newman? How many times them folks die <laughs> and come back? <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't like them killing Ty off. Oh, hey, Pamela. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Billy Todd always came to my church growing up and preached revival. Good people. Yes, they sure are, Rhonda. They sure are. Thank you, Leanne. I got them, the Moore family. I sure do, and I sure will. Oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. You didn't, Deb, you didn't already know that? I mean, it had been so long ago until I thought everybody might have already known that. I I'm, I'm, hope I didn't mess up the show for you, but yes, they did kill him off. That's right. That's the way it's supposed to be. We we are supposed to listen and all, but you don't just take your pastor's word or any pastor's word uh, for law. You um you check it out yourself. You study. You you read. There's nothing wrong with checking stuff out. Oh, hey, Spa Diva. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Now, I guess I just assumed everybody had already seen past that part. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, we did, Leanne. We've had one. <laughs> hey, Miss Carol says it's 55 degrees outside. Going to sweep off my dick. <laughs> and let this run. It feels good to be loved. I love you, baby. A whole bunch. Yep. Hey, Stephen, I know you probably didn't see it, but the Florida girls, man, they outdone themselves. They had Daddy some special drumsticks made. I can't wait for you to see them. I mean, they are beautiful, and I got a beautiful hanging, um... Oh, shoot, I don't know what you call it, tell you the truth. But it's made out of shells. It is so pretty. You have to hang it up for me. We have to hang it in the house. <laughs> hey, Rona. Show them. I, okay, I already showed them one time. But you wasn't in here then. I'll show them again. This is the box they in, Stephen. Only for you, I'll do it again. <laughs> well, okay. Well, they look the same, so I'm just going to show you one. See? It says Tammy, and it's got my picture burned in it. And it says Danny, and it's got Danny's picture burned in it. And that's one of our... I don't remember if it was a prom or if it was sweetheart ball. But look. And it's, it's like John Ray says, it's burned in it. It's deep. It's not a sticker. But both of them look the same. That is awesome, ain't it? I can't wait for you to see them in real life. I mean, this is... This is... I told them I use your word amazing. This is an amazing gift. And so is my shell hanger. Whatever you call it. See, I'm not good with words. My, it's like a hanging basket, but it ain't a basket. I knew, I didn't even know they could make anything like this. I guess I should have, though, because if they can put Kiss's name and other names on stuff, I guess they could put ours. Yes! That's what it is. Stephen and Grandma got shells, too. Okay, that's what I got, too, shells. But these drumsticks are amazing. I don't know, heaven bound, how people do it, but they sure are. Yeah, Jim, they're awesome. Danny hadn't seen them yet. He's still asleep. Him just don't feel good.
anyway, he is going to love them. And y'all, that's the second set of awesome drumsticks he got. Because Mr. Dave made him a set of drumsticks. Shower felt good. <laughs> I've been on YouTube all day. So had to sneak that in. Hey, Miss Joyce, I'm glad you got you a shower. A shower does feel good every now and then, don't it? Yeah, Danny's going to be excited about his drumsticks. He, he really is. Yes, Annie, um... The Florida sisters are truly super fans. They sure are. They are sweethearts. <laughs> hey, we all sisters in Christ. <laughs> so I'm definitely claiming them. Thank you, Miss Joyce. He he will. He is some better, but he just na he's been napping a good bit during the day. <laughs> So we'll keep praying for him, too. Please pray for my son struggling with addiction. They're bo they both know the Lord. Sons, oh, prayers for miracles. Hey, it can sure happen, Della. It sure can. Bless your heart, both of them. Mm. Yep. Prayers for Danny. He needs sleep. Healing comes. That's right, y'all. Leanne, I consider myself a family. I know I'm not in here as long as some of the people, but I feel like I've known y'all a really long time. Thank y'all so much for everything. Oh, you are welcome. We thank y'all. We thank y'all for watching and sharing. <laughs> we thank y'all for subscribing. I mean, and we love each and every one of you. Y'all are a big part of our family. Hey, Tammy Beck. Yeah, y'all keep, uh, keep praying for um, Danny. Amen. That's right, Miss Joyce. Y'all, there's there's a lot of that out there. That addiction. It's 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 just unreal. It really is. And, you know, except for the grace of God, it could be my children. I have a lot of friends who their children have left this world because of addictions and stuff that they just didn't overcome. And some of them overcame it and then consequences in their life, you know, took them on at an early age anyway, so we are so blessed. Our family is so blessed, and God has just wrapped his arms around us and protected us and strengthened us where, when we need to be strengthened so we could help other people. I sure will miss bedding. And that stuff is no joke. I have been there and done that. But my doctors finally got me on the right track. 
And it's kind of funny, he's a man, but he knew what I needed. <laughs> That's right, Tina. It is. It is so hard watching somebody you love. And there's nothing, nothing that you can do except pray. Give it to God and pray. I mean, and it breaks your heart. And a lot of times you have to use tough love, and I'm telling you, that is a hard thing to do. It can be done, but it is a hard thing to do. Well, good, Leanne. Thank you for watching as much as you can. We appreciate that, and that's what we want to do. Stephen, he just... Like he says, he never really knew what love was or to be loved and appreciated. And he, he's not kidding and joking about that. He, he You know, he might like laugh sometime. Go on, fly. He might laugh sometime, but he's not joking about that other than the love of his mom and daddy and sister, you know, and kids. He's never had a real genuine love relationship. And when he sees how many people out there truly love him and like watching him and think he's funny <laughs> and laugh with him and at him, you know, it makes a difference. It really does. Ah, Tina, the Lord knew what you needed. It's not that weird that, that the subject came up. There's a lot of people out there going through that. Rusty Bucket. <laughs> when they work. Uh-oh, yes, I guess they are wonderful when they work. Rusty Bucket, sometimes things work around him, sometimes it don't. Yes, I am very proud of anyone that has beat addiction. And I don't think anybody that has beat addiction has done it without the Lord's help. I just really don't because I think it's impossible. <sighs> yeah. It don't work for everybody, Della. But I know prayer does. And I know the Lord tells us that if he brings us to it, he'll see us through it. And I'm living proof that he will. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Even though he seem, it may seem like he's way off sometimes, he's not, he's there. He's just doing things his way. But we will definitely keep praying. That's right, love and life. <laughs> Heaven bound, I like that. Rusty, if your bucket is rusty, I can paint it. My bucket does need paint, heaven bound. <laughs> That's right, Leanne. That's what we have to learn. And we have to trust and we have to believe and hold on to that. 
God's time is always the right time. Yamanite, I'm sorry that happened, but he did beat it, and that's what matters. Yes, Teresa, he will. I'm glad. Y'all just y'all just keep hanging on. Y'all you can't look at anybody and tell what they're going through. I mean, I worked real close to a man out there at Parker. It's been a good many years ago now. I wanna say at least ten, if not more. I worked around him every day. I mean, I knew, you know, he had nerve problems and stuff, and I knew that the boss had been riding him. But I didn't know just how unstable that he really was. And he came to work one morning fully intending on killing his boss man. He brought the gun. He walked around work. He went outside. I mean, nobody didn't know this was going on. I didn't have to go in early that day, thank the Lord. I got there after it happened, but I don't know. Only by the grace of God did this man decide not to hurt anybody but himself. He went outside and laid down behind the dumpster at the back of the plant, put a towel over his head and shot himself and killed himself. But he went there that morning with the intentions of, of killing his boss man. And we all knew that. But I thank God that he didn't. I hate it ended like it did. But you never know. You can be with somebody every day of your life and never know that they really got something that bad going on. Yeah, Rusty Bucket, that, that still hurts my heart. Um, I thought of many a times that if, if I had just known if there was something that I could have said that would have helped. But it wasn't meant for me to know. I mean, what little bit I did know, I mean, I knew he was nervous and got high strung, and I knew his boss man rode him, and, but never had a clue that anything like that was going on. So it's real, it's real easy not to know what's going on with somebody. Never know what goes on behind people's closed doors, even if it looks perfect in real life. Sometimes it's not. That's exactly right, Leanne. You, um, oh, yep. My cousin, 26, hung herself on the 11th. We'll never know why. So sorry, Tina. I had a good friend that her son done that. I mean, it was from addiction and stuff, I know, but never, she'll, ne she'll never get over that. She's, she's coping with it, but as far as getting over it, she'll never. And that's been years ago. He was, he's the same age, well, he would have been the same age as Stephen. Praise report, Tammy. My labs came back last week perfect. Nothing there after one and a half years. The doctor smiled and handed me a print off of the results. Praise the Lord, PJ. Thank you for sharing that. I think I've been putting a, a damper on them today, so thank you for the praise report. Yes. 
always want to thank God for the praise. Y'all, this is, this has been awesome. Anybody else got a praise report? <laughs> yes, that's right, Monique. Somebody can talk to you and they can seem just fine and perfect, but deep down inside, you don't know. You just don't know. Mm, so sorry to hear that, Miss Carol. Mm. Yeah, prayers do work. Yes, Jim, you're right. It is always good to hear prayers being answered. And Joyce, you and Monique are right. Depression is a terrible thing. And depression is a sickness. And nobody can tell you anything about depression unless they've actually been through it. It's, it's like when somebody loses a child. I never tell them I know what they're going through. I never tell them I know how they feel. I never want to know how they feel. Sometimes there's nothing that you can say. Nothing. There's just no words. But you can always pray. And different people react different to different circumstances. But Lord help, when something like that happens... I can't imagine anybody wanting somebody to come up to them and tell them they know how they feel. Because unless you've been through it, you can't possibly know how they feel. I've lost a lot of people close to me. In fact, other than my children and Danny and my sister and nieces and nephews, most everybody else is gone. And I pray they all made it to heaven. And if they did, I intend on seeing them one day. <laughs> but please don't ever... The day I got the call that my eight-year-old granddaughter got killed in a car wreck, that is the worst feeling I've ever had, and it never goes away. No. I can't imagine it. You just cannot. And you don't want to. I know I will see my baby <laughs> brother when I go to heaven. Y'all. Oh. You know, I want to I want to see Jesus. I do. But I can't always say that was the first he was the first thing I wanted to see when I got to heaven. Cuz my mom has been there a long time. And my daddy's there and they somebody very special to me that's there. But I can say now that I want to see Jesus first. With all the awesome stuff he's done for me, how could I not want to see him first? The rest to take care of itself. Oh. Hey, Cheryl, hey, Roseanne, yeah, I can't, um, 
we just we just can't imagine any of that. I know Miss Helen lost a son, Tony, and that took a big toll on her. And there's some people in our church that's lost children. But I know God will get you through it. <laughs> Jesus, girl, I want to see Jesus too. <sighs> but I got a long line waiting after him. <laughs> Hey, um, Jesus girl, I started watching Chosen. Thank you. I got it on pause now and there, but I have started watching it, and I do like it. Mm. Y'all see all the comments there? Son, grandson, daughter. I mean, it's just... Every time you turn around, so many things will be beautiful in heaven, but look for Tammy at Jesus' feet. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that, Jim. Thank you. PJ says she watched The Chosen also. Well, I'm watching it. Julie turned me on to it, and I started watching it this morning. I'm not going to tell y'all nothing that happened on it since I messed up this, one of the shows for somebody a while ago. <laughs> but I do like it. And I think y'all would like it if you watched it. Well, it's a series. Julie, you could probably answer that better than me. <clears throat> yes. We got your card. I showed it a while ago. We um we got it. And the nice surprise that was on the inside of it. <laughs> yes, and I got Miss Helen's up here on the counter. I gotta get it to her, but I got it. Thank you so much. S-A-D-E-S, -E oh, I don't know how to say that, S-A-D-E-S, -E but yeah, um, I don't, I don't guess it's no big secret, uh, Tony, he just, um, he took two medications that did not go together, and they stopped his heart. I don't, I don't know what they were or nothing, but, um, he was married to my sister Dina then, and they lived right next door. And uh, Dina called Danny, and Danny went over there, and they tried to do CPR on him. But they carried him to the hospital, but he didn't make it. He, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know what the medicines were, but he took them within so close to each other or something. It just shut his heart down. Monique, I'm so glad that, that you found the lives, and especially found Stephen. And I'm so sorry that you've lost so many people. I really am. Yep, Rusty Bucket, that is a lot to endure. And see... It's like I said a while ago, we can't look at anybody and or talk to anybody and tell what they've been through. There's no telling what all people has been through. And, you know, I've, I've been through a lot, but what I've been through is minor compared to so many other people. <laughs> I mean... 
Hey, bearded granny. Yes, it is, bearded granny. It really is. Hey, y'all are awesome. Y'all are y'all are just so loving and so comforting to each situation. And each one of you are are jumping in and praying for the other one and condoling the other one and I mean, y'all are a great bunch of people, I can tell you. Hey Tammy Beck. <laughs> Shades, S-A-D-E-S. -E I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, life is very hard. But we, you know, we have to trust and believe, and we have to do the best we can with it. <laughs> Rusty Bucket. How often do you trim your beard, beardy granny? I tell you what, what are we going to do with these folks? <laughs> Rusty Bucket's ready for us to put some humor into this conversation. <laughs> Sadie? Oh, Sadie. Okay. Thank you. It's a crying shame. That don't mean I won't get it wrong again, but I'll try. Yes, Tammy Jean. We'll, I'm going to write it down again, but we'll... Continue to remember you and your family and your sister. <laughs> God only gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers, and we have to win every battle in order to win the war. And if we win the war, oh man, it went away. <laughs> I was almost at the end of it anyway. Thank you, Teresa. That's a sweet thing to say. And Tammy Jean. Lewis? L-U-I-S, Lewis? Oh. Rusty Bucket, English, please. <laughs> Ed Higgs, I see you. Then we win the victory, yes. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Jim. Hey. We'll take all the prayers we can get. Spiritually tight hugs and prayers to everyone. Here, Carol, I'll give you one. <laughs> I had to send Tony Z one one night. I don't see him in here. I hear you, Jess Rabbit. Where are the dogs? They are all asleep. One's in the bed, one's in the recliner, and one's laying down over there in front of the couch where Danny's snoring at. <laughs> I heard that. Thank you, Colette. I think that's how you say it, Colette. <laughs> you knew you heard him snoring. Yeah, he's getting better, but he's he's been sleeping a good part of the day. That's why y'all just stuck with me.
Well, Monique, we're only as far away as a button will allow us to be. So you keep that in mind. Oh, thank you, Miss Costello. <laughs> okay, I'm so afraid y'all mess them names up. <laughs> I'm feeling good, Sadie. I'm, I'm, I'm just about to get back to normal. Okay, Hecktown, we will pray for your brother to find Jesus. <laughs> right, that's right. Okay, what are y'all getting excited about? Well, I don't see nothing. They heard something. <laughs> when do you go back to work, Miss Tammy? The 3rd of January. Sadie's, it did. It knocked us down, too, for a while. Yes, Miss Helen is Danny's mama. That's right, heaven bound. Well, y'all, I guess they heard the UPS man today because they were barking, and I heard a truck, and I thought it was Stephen. And me and Danny was both in the house and the dogs. And I went outside a little later for something, and um, there was a note on the back door that said, UPS tried to del deliver a package. We'll try again tomorrow. I thought... And I think that is something from Monique, but I'm not sure. But Stephen said he thought it was. But I guess tomorrow I'll pay a little bit more closer attention. But he didn't knock on the door or nothing. He just stuck a note on the door. I mean, it's almost like they take pride in taking their packages back with them. But I'd be ready for them tomorrow. I'd be ready, waiting on him. Where you going, Jesus girl? <laughs> Global warming in Alabama. <laughs> Oh, hey, my fish is doing good, Kimberly. None of them got, none of them, excuse me, none of them froze to death. Yep, Monique says it's a box from over there. Okay, Monique, I will meet that man tomorrow and I will get that box. <laughs> oh, but I mean, I was right here in the house. I just didn't stick my head out the door. I thought it was Stephen. Yeah, Miss Betty, that's Danny snoring. Oh, thank you, Rosemary. I appreciate that. Jesus, girl, all I got to say is he said he was coming back tomorrow, and he best come back tomorrow. Are you going back to Virginia to work? Girl, you all over the place, aren't you? <laughs> I don't even like driving 20 minutes to work. <laughs> Leave a note for UPS to not loud. I heard that. <coughs> 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 
Now there's a truck going down the road now. Hey, Kimberly, no, it's okay. All the fish are okay. Hey, that's Phoebe. Well, maybe she won't do like the UPS man and just drive off. Maybe she'll stop. Spa Diva drives a whole five minutes. Hey, that would work for me, Spa Diva. Okay, y'all, I guess I better wrap it up and get off of here. Um, I'll give Phoebe her and Eric and Katie's card. and Thank y'all all so much for everything that you've done. Thank y'all for all the prayers for Danny and us. Yeah, we're going to have black eyed peas. We sure are. And greens. All right. I love y'all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pray because I know Phoebe's on her way in. Dear Lord, we ask you right now to remember all these prayer requests. Each one, Lord, from addiction to sickness to hurt to depression everything, Lord. We just ask that you undertake, you wrap your arms around these people and shield them, Lord, and protect them until they can find you and turn to you, Lord. The ones who don't know you, Lord, I pray, Lord, that something that will be said or done or happen in their life will draw them to you. And dear Lord, until we meet in the next video again, if it be your will, I pray that you put, put uh, arm of protection around everybody, Lord. And um, just keep everybody safe and let them have a wonderful new year. But we will meet again before the new year. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. We love y'all. I'm so thankful for y'all watching. This is 229 people. I thank y'all so much. And um, y'all all have a blessed afternoon. Okay. Love y'all. Bye-bye.